there. Today is Friday. It is September 7th. It's a B day. And as always, hope the lines are ready to roar at Howard High School. We're filling our days with pride. And you know the new Pride 2.0. Uh, hopefully you know it there. If you don't, personal purpose, respectful relationships, individual integrity, disciplined decisions, and enthusiastic engagement. Hope that you're learning that and that you uh, practice it in everything that you do. Great first week here. We have our senior retreat. I'm going to give you uh, some details about lunch shifts and stuff in a second, but I want to be able to kind of skip forward to next week here. We've made it through our first week here almost, um, and a few things, some reminders that we've been giving students in classes and uh, over the PA, et cetera. Um, we are going to be uh, cracking down starting next week, so tardy to school. So we're going to be setting up our tardy table um, starting at 725. If you're late, you're coming through the tardy table there, okay? So that five-minute grace period, I know we had in there. You got to make sure you get here on time. And you know what? This week, I saw almost everyone was here on time, so you can do it. So don't get lazy there. Get here on time. Tardy table's coming through. Get warnings first couple times, and you start getting into detentions and Saturday schools. You don't want to have that, especially if you're a senior and you drive because you could lose your parking permit. So make sure you're getting here on time. Speaking about getting here on time there and all the other rules, Starting on Tuesday, we got the stuff there. Hats, hoods, earphones. You guys have heard your warnings. So starting next week, we're going to be getting there, taking things away. So we've said it several times here, getting back in the swing of things. So next week there, that first thing, you've had your warning. Now it's going to be confiscated there. Confiscated things could also be food and drink. Some of you there like to have that breakfast in the morning. Okay? And if you're coming in the building and it's 7 o'clock, I'll sit there and tell you as I walk in the door, take it down to the cafeteria, and you should be taking it down there. If you're consuming it in the hallway, someone can take it from you or have you throw it away. If you're walking in the door and it is 7.20, that 7.20 bell rings, you don't have time to go to the cafeteria. You're heading right to class. So I'm basically going to tell you, finish it up, throw it away. Okay? So I'm warning you now. I don't want you to feel like I'm, you know, oh, I wasted $5 or $4.99 or whatever it is that you pay for a super grande espresso cappuccino thing there, whatever. Finish it up because at 7.20, when you're coming in the door there, okay, it's going away. Uh, Final reminder there about dress code as well. So you guys want to make sure that you have been uh, warned on a few things this week. Got to make sure that you're following that dress code, okay? It's in the agenda book. We've talked about it as far as covering up, things like that. We will have you come up, put on a shirt, put on some kind of clothing there to be able to cover up there. I've said this last year. If you're new to the school, you can understand this. The way I see dress code, it's about your job expectations. Many of you even have jobs, and you know that when you go to work, you have to dress a certain way. Same thing here at the school. That's what we're preparing you for, okay? Life has these uh, expectations. You can't be going into church looking like you're going to the beach. Same kind of thing there. School has certain uh, dress code expectations, so please follow that along. Next week, we're starting up with our uh, uh, things as well. Movie Monday, Tuesday Trivia, Wordy Wednesday, some quotes, Thankful Thursday, and Feel Good Friday. So I'll be putting out some stuff on Twitter as well to be able to send in those uh, email announcements, be able to uh, give a shout-out to teachers as a thankful, and then they'll also be able to thank you as well. Uh, my last announcement then is just for lunch shifts. If you didn't know, we'll be sending our um, seniors to the... Um, to the retreat, our freshmen are already at their retreat, so anyone who's remaining, 10th and 11th graders, A lunch, health, phys ed, dance, science and math, B lunch, social studies, English, tutorial, word language, art, JROTC, facts, tech ed, and BCMS. So teachers, check your emails, it's out there. Have a great day. Welcome back, Lions. I'm Sydney. And I'm Sydney. And we are excited to share the first Howard 360 at, with, at third period with all of you. <laughs> we have a great show for you today. But first, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you excited for the senior retreat today? Yeah, I'm excited to learn more about what we should expect for college applications. Me too. Hey, Sydney, do you like trivia and know a lot, about, a lot of things about different topics? Yeah. Well, you're in luck because Howard's academic team is having their first practice Tuesday, September 11th in room 204, A204. If you have any questions, please see Dr. Bowling. 
There will be a mock trial interest meeting in, on next Thursday in room R120 after school. If you are interested in law and think you'd be a great lawyer or attorney, please stop by. Hey, so do you know anything about Best Buddies? I do. I'm actually part of Best Buddies. Really? Me too. Well, if any students are interested in the meeting, meeting new people, eating delicious food, and making new friends, please come, please come to the interest meeting in A102. Well, Once Lions, that's all we have for you today. We hope you have a fantastic Friday, and we will see you next week on Howard 360.